another uh, scooter from Tom at Fast Scooters. This one doesn't have a motor. Um, tire needs to be filled up in the back, but different, a little bit of a different design. It is uh, older. So, as I said, I got this uh, E300S Razor from Tom at Fast Scooters today. He's awesome, man. I also got a couple of rear, almost brand new, just need to be clean. Rear tires from MX650. Um, this is what I came up with. Uh, it did have a flat tire, kind of like the chopper. So I took that back tire off. The only issue is with that is you got to uh, disconnect the uh, drum down here in order to slide that tire off. Same with the chopper. Love to get disc brakes on it instead. Uh, but I just spent a little bit of time. I put some air in it and I figured, I don't know how the E300 set up. I'll have to look it up, but um, this is what I came up with. I, I, it's not like tightened in. I'm going to cut this cut this down a little bit so I can get a screw into this hole here to line up into there and then same on the other side it's so close see there's the hole and then once I cut that th these should fall into place here and then uh probably need just a slighter bigger chain maybe not though actually probably not It'd probably yeah it might need to be a little bit bigger chain but I'll put the motor there and I'll probably bungee the battery here or if it will fit in that tray that'd be cool but i don't think it will uh but for temporary yeah i'll probably put it put it uh up there so i'll figure it out but that's my that was my first brainstorm brakes do work uh still want to put new ones on and get a new throttle on there I don't know. It'll be cool. It'll be faster than the chopper for sure. Who knows? Maybe even throw one of those kits in it. Nah, that'd be stupid. I want a fucking wheelie on that thing. Alright, so this is what I did. This is the 36 volt 800 watt motor. Uh, gotta put a uh, sprocket on there, but I got it screwed in over here. And it wouldn't line up with the other screw hole because you got two screw holes that you can use. Uh, so I just unscrewed this. just fine not going anywhere uh, I'll probably end up cutting this out the rest of the way uh, but for now we're trying to bend it or something bend it off and then uh, probably just slip the battery down in there and put the controller on top of the battery or something but yeah seems pretty solid I'll go ahead and put it like a uh, 11 tooth on there real quick and uh, look at how fast it goes Got this from Tom today for free. No brand new, these things go for $400 right now. Um, I went ahead and put the kit that I had in the chopper in here, same exact kit, uh, except we're overvolting a 36 volt 800 watt motor with the 48 volt 1000 watt controller and fast scooters with the twist throttle, 48 volt, and a 48 volt 15 AH BTR power battery. Uh, the chopper just had the 24 volt with a double over volt. So, uh, got the uh, back tire with some air, put air in the front. Uh, this is not staying like this. This is just to test it. Everything I think would eventually be put over here somehow and maybe get like some sort of, I don't know, get some sort of cooler or something to put everything in to kind of hide it. Something to make it look nicer. It's right now my feet here. And, uh, Go from there, man. Let's do a quick rip. Real yeah, quick. It took a lot of trial and error. Uh, I'm gonna use this as my light. My, uh, I took the brake off because it's such a it was such a shitty brake. The drum kept getting stuck. Oh, no, it's just shitty. So I put my old drum on here, but I didn't even hook the brake up yet, which I'm still have to do. Um, I just got a new drum. Filled up the air in the tires. I already explained what what's all up in here. Uh, took me a little bit to figure out all this shit. 
uh, trial and error. Like I said, if, uh, this is what I'm doing. Um, a little different. Get the chain going up instead of the old ways. It would go underneath, but it would only fit like a, a smaller size motor. So I said, screw it. I'm go ahead and use some things that were sticking up here and went ahead and did that. I showed you I did that. So, it's a 2.3. Honestly, man, uh, like I said, all this this stuff, this is temporary just to get it all working. Uh, I am going to be cutting the rest of this off and filing it down, cutting this thing off, or maybe even using it to put something on here, um, and moving this stuff back. Probably stand it up like this and, and kind of get it there, leaving this open. Um, <clears throat> Honestly, man, it's just to show you all the different things that, that you can do with uh, these kits. These kits are only without the battery and without the motor, uh, which is the controller and the throttle. It's only 60 bucks, man. And you can go ahead and throw it on. You know, this is a, uh, this was a 12 volt setup pulse things. And honestly, you just want to uh, over double, uh, over volt it to 24 volts, but I, I'd go, I go to 36, I double over volt it. The motor will not last as long, you can't ride it as long. So if you're only gonna do short rides in front of the house, do the double over volt. If you're planning on going places, just a regular over volt's fine. This is just a regular over volt. But like I said, showing you different things that you can do, man. Just a little engineering, use a little, uh, think outside the box a little bit. Uh, I've used this kit for this. These kits are made for these, for that, for those. Like I said, for that. Um, the chopper over here. I even used the kit. The RSF can get a kit. It has had a kit before. The hover around, man. The transporter. Freaking, that's a 24 volt motor that I double over volt. So, do tons of different things with this kit. So if you, even if you buy one kit, you can go flipping it to different things and stuff. But I thought this was pretty cool. Definitely the most different uh, thing that I came up with for sure. And maybe get like a, uh, cut this off and maybe get like some sort of box or something that I can sit up here and get and put this stuff in. Anyway.